You are home to GTV Africa Live from Nasarawa State, part of Massacre Karu Luka Government. I am in the house with a veteran, and you'll be hearing from them the advice to the government, to the president, and chief of our army staff and military and forces generally. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment. You may enjoy us better. Gentlemen, good day, sir. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. I want to seek your opinion to tap from your wisdom and your knowledge this afternoon. I hope Nigerians will be better rich with your wisdom. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Master Warrant Officer Anthony Abbas retired at this stage. 31st December 2006, Osho de Lagos, Nigerian Army, 35 years service. Uh, after retirement, uh, life has not been easy at all because we serve this country with our youthful age to defend this country. But we have been forgotten by the by the government. We brought peace to this country and the government has not forgotten us. We have to come out and protest before our entitlements are paid. And when it is being paid, they pay it in piecemeal. They always pay it in piecemeal. So we, we don't even use the money for anything. You don't use the money for it because you are supposed to be giving your entitlement at once. But you have to come and protest before they will say maybe they will pay you in two, three, four years. And nobody knows who will survive to that very time. And like this security department allowance, they, they, pay, they, they promise to pay us in three years and they have just paid us one year. And quarterly, not almost every month, but quarterly. Their pain was quarterly. Well, in fact, they said the amount is as at your retirement, what you are entitled to as your retirement. Unfortunately, we have some people who discharged 1978-79. And that time, their, their, pay, their gratuity was 1,656 naira. And if you want to use that yardstick to pay them, how much do you think they will get from it? Then some, uh, the salary was about 300 naira per month. How do you use that to calculate somebody's entitlement? So these are the things that uh, they deliberately did that so that they will, they will just suffer us. We want government to pay us the balance at once. We have now a balance of two, two years because the SDA, they promised pay us in three years. Now they are paid us one, uh, one year. We want the balance of uh, SDA for two years to be paid to us at once. Security department allowance so that you will not use the skill you acquired in the military to work against the states. We are disciplined people. Nigerian soldiers are disciplined people. They need motivation. That is what we need. And if they are able to pay us that uh, security department allowance, it will go down well to assist some of us who are medically challenged now. We use our money to buy drugs. The pension we are supposed to use to take care of ourselves, now we use them to buy drugs. And, you know, during the service, Kind of. During the civil war, we suffered. Or even after the after the civil war, military training, different military trainings, we went to different operations. I'm appealing to the president, commander in chief of the armed forces, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, to graciously pay us the balance of two years, that is remaining of the security department allowance, so that we'll be able to use it to take care of ourselves and our families. 
My names are Master Warrant Officer Emmanuel Dogo, retired, one of the presidential Allison from 177 KFE. I'm in support of that because I'm one of them who have worked for the years served. But yet, what is for us to give us, we are not giving. And each time, any money that is to be given to us, they will split it. Like this SDA, I have never seen where an organization is divided into two. But army have divided Nigeria army into two. One, 79A. For example, now a master warrant officer retired. 79A is master warrant officer retired. When this SD of 18 came, they were given 1.1. But for me, I, I was given 150,000. That is why I say the army is divided into two. It is supposed not to be so. And that is why each time we have problem about this money, we go out on protest. And before we go out for the protest, they will now say we should give five members so that you should sit and organize how we get this money. And up to now, they were agitating that that money they are going to work it to increase it, to read as the other people they have paid them. But see yet, last quarter they gave us, it is the same money they pay us. There was no change. And those people, they paid them the amount which they, also, they, they collected are before. But we as citizens, we couldn't collect that one. The solution is still, if we didn't see anything, we'll go out. Because January, today is thought. We were trying to go out on January 15 at Iku Square. But when they had it, they now say they, they, they pay all that very little amount of money, thinking they want to close our mouth. But we are waiting. If nothing is done, we know where to go. I, we used to stay in our meeting. We are crying. We are now planning to say, President Tunumbu, to help us. And let me give you one example. Tunumbu will give instruction out. There are people that are behind him that want the government to fall. They will now do a different thing which is not supposed to be. And if you find out the armed forces themselves, they are divided. They are not in unite. You are talking something about uh, Binwe, I mean, Plateau and Binwe. For example, like in Blanu, uh, Plateau State, somebody is there as the man commander regards to all this terrorism. But yet, yeah, there is something inside. There is something coming inside. I'm, I'm afraid of talking to anybody. There is fanatical something inside. If they carry this man as a Muslim to be the head to that area, he will not do the work according to what he is supposed to do as a military man. When he reached there with 400, he allowed people to be killing people. That is what is happening in Plateau State. You can ask anybody, we are not afraid of death, though, because we have reached where we are supposed to talk to, for the world to hear. Get to the Plateau State now. The man where they carry the gold, they are, they are Muslim among the Christians. When where they are fighting, you will see some of them the beforehand. They are allowed them to finish what, finish up with the people before now they will start to talk. Like now, if they kill Muslim like ten, they will tell you say they kill Muslim two hundred. But if they kill Christian like five hundred, they will not tell you say uh, Christian were wounded and only five of them uh, dead. You see, that is why I say the army is divided. The army now they have become politicians. Army or before when they come to war office, you get to army headquarters or defense that is a room. 
map. Everywhere, map. You will see Plato, you will see Kaduna, you will see all this area. And each area has its own area of movement. But now, army is divided, it's not one. If army were to be one, like in those days, we would have not captured Biafra. Biafra for winners. But because army were one mouth, we want to enter Inugu tomorrow. And that's why they will go in Inugu and they will capture the area, sit there. People coming out to surrender, they embrace them, they bring it in. But today it's not like that. I want to give you an example of, uh, we are talking about Plato. We forgot about Benue. All over and everywhere now, you will find out that people will inscate Fulanis to get place to build their houses because of fanatical uh, area. Then when you get to burning Gwari or something like that, like the other time something happened in uh, Tudumbiri, they were blaming uh, the man in charge of uh, uh, what do you call uh, this uh, Air Force man? And um, when they found out that the Air Force man is from Kano, nobody talked again. That was how the matter ended. If it were somebody from Plateau, somebody from Kaduna, somebody from Ogun, um, say you hear his name, they say, to, they should follow that matter into two. But that matter, they don't die it off. Nobody talk about it again. That is to the beauty. They are not talking about contribution to give people there to compensate, compensate people, their houses who are destroyed, and their family or whatever. So that is why I say army is divided. Army should become one. That is armed forces. If the man by the air go there, is the same army. If the navy man is there, it should be one army. But the land army will go there the, the, when the Air Force man come, and if it's a different religion, if the other one come, so it's divided. But we want army to be one body, as it was before. The Tunumbu, President Tunumbu, you uh, see, the man, he came out to hold this country and let this country change from where it was before. But people who are working with him, People that are working with him, they are the people disrupting his government. People they won't know, but we look at people that are sitting down looking, seeing him. We know. But you, as me now, I go there and say, I want to see some people. Ah, they are in the meeting. But why you want to give the information? Nobody will agree with you. But this man has come out, say, I want to make this country to change to better area. Look at the, about subsidy, that what do you call it? Who will not see it for eye? Right? But somebody want to go out. In a say, move, remove subsidy. And the man, because he won the chair, he say, okay, why didn't you remove it before you say now we should remove it? And that is why we are in problem today. Who caused it? It is the man who going, who brought this problem. I'm referring to President Buhari. I'm referring to former President Buhari, outgoing Buhari. It's not hidden. We work with the man, we know him. Don't you know him in Kupua? We know the man. We know him. I'm referring to President Buhari. So will you say he's Yes, because he wants this man's government to say he don't know how to hold government. And his own government is the world government. And uh, sir, they will allow me to see him face to face. We'll talk to him. They will allow Emmanuel Dogo, Master Warrant of Emmanuel Dogo, retired. Do not allow him to see him. Say, this local man, he don't retire. Why is he going to do? They will allow me to see him. But if I see him one to one, if I tell him something, and if you look at it and watch it, he will find out that that thing I tell him is reality. President Tunubu, I'm advising you, all those around you, you put them around you. In fact, 
you have to be careful with them. Very extra careful with them. Some of them are sacrifices around you. People that are around you are sacrifices because they will be telling you a lie and the truth. After they go to say, they say that, they will not go, they will do different things. Then you should be careful. I will survive. You should sit, sit them down and talk to them. What I had, it should not be so. You are around me, you are giving me a wrong advice, which is not supposed to be so. Sergeant Kwakule Yungu, Yungu that he should take proper care of the people he is commanding. Talk to them, let them unite. Because if a group of people do not cooperate, they cannot achieve anything. If there is no cooperation between army and civil, that's nothing they can do. In a way, the army was to have Lieutenant General Labadja that, you know, we cannot do away with old clothes. You cannot say because this one is right, it has no use. If you come back and seek opinion from the, see the people who face in journey, you know the type of people you meet, let them advise him so that we know what to do. I don't say it's not doing the right thing, but let him seek opinion from the senior ones that face in journey. Here yeah, will I, I will pause for the day. Till I bring another one to you from another angle. I'm Bimiga Olamikon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, subscribe. Just click subscribe and like. Make comment. Thank you so much. I'll bring another one for you another day. Peace be unto you.